Well, that was a brutal one. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tumo Vakunen here, starting a new series called Training Diaries, which is meant to give you ideas, tips, tools, and strategies, maybe, of how to perform better and maybe structure your training or just to listen to what I've been up to. Um, the idea is to give you <clears throat> a little bit more of an insight, bit of a bit more a long, longer format content and more of a deeper look into how I'm training, what I'm training, where I'm at. And now we're by the river here in uh, Maroto, in the Papeno Valley here in Tahiti. So the idea of these diaries is to, yeah, to pursue my goals and show you the journey to them. Speaking of which is I'm just back from a, uh, a training run here in the valley. It was meant to be only 10 kilometers, but I ended up being 13 and a half because I just got new kicks. Salomon S-Lab Ultra 3s and long-awaited new kicks that performed extremely well. They're a tiny, tiny bit too big but no trouble, it's good when you are running for long distances, There's a, especially when you're coming downhill. It's good to have a little bit of extra room in the toe box, which these guys have just a little tiny bit, which is which is good and I'm happy. As I mentioned, they performed really well. They performed so well that um, I was planning to go only for 10Ks, but I went for 13 and a half because it was, it was good. It was, and as I mentioned right at the beginning of the video, it was brutal because it was freaking hot. Uh, over 30, probably 35 in the sun. Luckily on the way back, it got cloudy and uh, got some shade. And there was some other people that actually gave me some little bit of extra water. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because I only left with half a liter of water because I was planning to go for ha uh, sorry 10K. And uh, yeah, live and learn. So I suppose the first insight there uh, lesson is make a plan and then run the plan. Uh, don't deviate the plan too much un unless you have contingency contingency plans with you, not back at the car, as I had only extra water back at the car. So paid the price, <clears throat> but luckily had some friendly people along the way that gave me another half a liter of water and I managed to get back without massive dehydration. So that was the first thing. But the second thing, as I mentioned about these training diaries, is and the reason why I'm shooting this video and doing this the, these diaries is that I'm going for next year. So this is I'm shooting this video in the end of 2023 and 2024. I'm planning to run a couple 100k, 100k, 100k distances at least one here in Tahiti and hopefully another one possibly in Finland in the midsummer. So that's the plan of attack and the reason why I'm training a lot right now. And also there's possibly a one a marathon here in in Morea in here in French Polynesia but and we'll see if that comes to play but those are the three sort of main races that I'm training for and why I'm doing these training diaries for you guys but also it's for myself to document document the journey to them and keep myself accountable and hopefully give you guys ideas and tips and tools and strategies as I mentioned how to structure your training and obviously there's a lot of people probably listening to this that already run those distances and longer so feel free to leave me comments below and uh, your ideas um, of the training and so on and so forth and how you are performing so a couple of big trucks going by right now so hold on a second all right there we go so anyhow my greetings here from Papeno Valley in Tahiti, beautiful, beautiful, amazing river that I ran by, or next to the river, pretty much the whole whole way, about 13 and a half k, and uh, with this kick-ass new Salomon Ultra Lab Ultra 3s S Lab is the uh, is the model. So, hopefully, you guys doing well. Please follow along these training diaries, and uh, yeah, until the next one, we'll see what we get. There probably will be some surfing sprinkled, sprinkled along the way, maybe some mountain biking and uh, CrossFit. That might be in the cards as well, do some strength training. So those are the ideas for these training diaries, probably focusing more on the running for the next six months or so. 
but there's definitely other bits and pieces coming along the way and lots of lots of hopefully nuggets and insights about performance and so on and so forth so hit the subscribe hit the like and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one